Hello everyone, welcome to Alma Woodsy Thomas Inspired Art. Before we get started on our project, I wanted to share a little bit about the artist. Artist Alma Woodsy Thomas was born in Georgia in 1891, but she and her family ended up moving to Washington, D.C. in 1907 to escape the violence in the South. While Washington, D.C. was still extremely segregated, there were more opportunities available for African Americans. Alma Woodsy Thomas later graduated from Howard University and became a teacher. She taught art at a junior high school for 35 years, and while Woodsy Thomas was always creating artwork, she is most known for the amazing, colorful, abstract painting she created later in her life. Woodsy Thomas was, and still is, considered a celebrated expressionist painter. In art, expressionism means that the artist is more concerned with expressing or evoking a feeling rather than physically capturing something as it is. An inspiration to many, Alma Woodsy Thomas was the first African-American woman to have a solo exhibition at the Whitney Museum of American Art, and her paintings have also been exhibited at the White House. So to celebrate Alma Woodsy Thomas's contributions, we are going to create our very own painting. In the kit you picked up from the library, you should have received a canvas, paints, and brushes. The first thing I did was I covered the surface of my workspace. I also ended up cutting the paints apart, which made them a lot easier to open and manage. I also used the lid of the paint set as a paint palette when I wanted to mix colors. You will also need something to trace a circle onto your canvas. It could be a roll of tape or the base of a teacup. Uh, or you can feel free to draw your own circle. It certainly doesn't have to be perfect. And while I put my circle in the center of the canvas, uh, you can do what you like. It can be off to the side, towards the top, or uh, near the bottom. And once you have that taken care of, you can get to the fun part, which is, of course, painting. So I started off by uh, painting in the center of the circle that I traced onto the canvas. And then I used the thin brush to do uh, two circles with thinner lines, and then I used the flat brush to make th thicker lines. And then I just continued to add to the painting, trying to use a variety of colors and trying to vary the uh, thickness and uh, length of the lines. And it really is just that simple. I hope you have a great time creating your Alma Woodsy Thomas inspired paintings. I would love to see them, so fe please feel free to send them to me. And I hope you have a wonderful day.